you back to the past To play the shitty games that suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole Of a roadkill skunk and down it with fear He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard He's the angry Mick Kids is nothing more than an advertising vehicle, much like games such as Yo Noid and 7-Eleven Spot. Now some people out there may actually like this game, and to be fair, it isn't one of the worst games in the NES library. There are definitely much crappier games such as Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout and Silver Surfer, for example. So anyway, let's check out Mick Kids. So there's Ronald with his magic bag, bag of hallucinogenic drugs. I always thought that clown was one scary motherfucker. The Hamburglar stole his bag, apparently. Alright, this is the first level. Now, does it look familiar? So where have I seen this before? Jumping around, collecting M's? Oh, like coins. And Mario Brothers? Like, yeah, that's where I've seen this. It's just like Super Mario Brothers 3. Let's check it out. I mean, the map looks similar. Same idea. The stages are designed the same. Jumping on enemies, I mean... Everything looks the same. Mario's controls were a lot better, though. Well, pretty much everything is better. So back to Mick Kids. You know, I changed my mind. It actually is pretty original. I mean, walking upside down, I mean, that's pretty creative. Whoa, it makes me feel sick. They must have been on crack when they came up with this game. So you go around collecting cards that you need to beat the level. So, there you go, in the Ronald's magic zipper running around through Magic McDonald world. God, that really makes me nauseous. And don't try to kill anything with those blocks. That it really doesn't work too well. Collect some more useless M's that don't do anything. Alright, here's a shitty bonus game. You jump on these arrows that make you go up. And you gotta jump on the white ones until you get to the top. And then when you get to the top, you go into another zipper and you collect some one-ups, which aren't really that important because there's a part where you can get a whole bunch of them. Then you go to Birdie's stage. The stupid feathered fucking bird bitch. <laughs> Cute smiley face. You know what's a big problem with this game? I mean, you never know what's below you. You just fall and die. Fuck balls! This game's so bad, they actually invented a way to end it by pushing start and select at the same time. So you get this block, which makes you heavier, so you can jump higher, well, lower, really. And now you have another 1-up that you don't need, so that's just a waste of time. Oh, and look, I died anyway, so what a waste. Oh god, look, a McFlurry man! Those guys are badass. So how do I get that card? Oh, every kid knows how to do this. Just get the secret passageway under the clouds. Yeah, that's easy to figure out. Kids will have the patience to figure that out. Because, you know, kids have a lot of patience. Especially the ones with ADD, such as myself. Then you go to Grimace's board. Here's Grimace, the big purple fuck. Look at his house. It looks like Barney the Dinosaur's testicle. Okay, so here's the part where you can get a billion one-ups. So you just get two one-ups here, and then you go back into the board again. You die here, but you always get one extra, so if you have an hour to waste, then there you go. <laughs> have fun. You're completely wasting your time anyway if you're playing this game, as I am, let alone make a fucking video about it. And some people like to call one-ups extra guys or free mans. I like to call them life insurance. Look how bad the jumps are. Look at this. What a shitload of fuck. All I want to do is get down in that barrel, but it's such a pain in the ass. I mean, it keeps bouncing me back up. Fuck farts. It never ends with this game. It's just like an infinite turd coming out of my ass, just like an endless rope. I mean, when the fuck's it gonna be over? I can't stand this shit. Watch the moose. Grab a block and try to kill him. Unfortunately, it just bounces and misses them. Now look at this. Would you ever guess that you're supposed to jump off this cliff?
This ship really minds me of Super Mario Bros. 3 again. And also, why is this guy walking on water? Who does he think he is? Jesus Christ? Then you gotta talk to the professor, another one of Ronald's stoner friends. And he tells you to get more cards, which makes me just want to punch him. Even worse, you gotta go to the moon, where you meet Cosmic. Now who the hell's Cosmic? Did they run out of McDonald's characters? What about Captain Crook or Big Mac? No, Cosmic. I never heard of him. I guess there's nothing more you can expect but a shitty character like that. I mean, I bet the people who designed this game were paid minimum wage. So anyway, you're on the moon, so you're floating around, and then there's these tentacles that come out and kill you wherever you go. And you really gotta bust your balls to find all those cards. Like there's this one that's high up in the air, and even when you get it, you jump back down and something kills you and you gotta start the whole level all over again. Ass balls! So here you are at the last stage, Robble Robble. You gotta get the cards from Hamburglar. So, you gotta get across the lava by throwing these blocks in it, while all this stuff is shooting at you. Fuck! So look at this, this is some kind of track you have to move on, but you can't because the controls are so hard. So do you hit A or B? I don't know, I have no idea how to control this. You'd think you can just hold the A button or something, but no, of course not, that would be too simple. They have to make it like, you do these little taps with the button to make it move. I mean, the controls just suck ass. What a piece of shit. A little kid could never figure this out. So finally, when you get through all these crazy obstacles, you get up here, you walk all the way to this lava pit, and you don't have any blocks to float over it. You can't go around it, so what do you do? Guess you just gotta commit suicide. Toasty!